Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate this nifty little hero section for your own Beehive application using the new website builder. So here you can see it has an image, a gradient, gradient text. Um, you can actually instantly recreate this if you go to insert sections and then click on hero section right here. Um, so besides the gradient text and the gradient background, you have the same components to start with. So you can just do that. Uh, but we're going to start from scratch so that you can follow along. So we're going to click on new page here and type in a new uh, URL and page name. And we're going to start with the image because it's actually sort of like the big, um, I guess, thing that's a part of this hero section. It uh, takes up the most space. So we're using shots.so, which is a mock-up tool. It's free. Um, and I use it for a lot of my projects. Um, so it's actually very simple. It's simply just like take a screenshot of your website, your app, whatever you're basically using this for, and just drop it in here. So here I have an image or a screenshot, and I'm going to drag it in here. And I'm going to first select the browser uh, mock-up template. Um, this is not accurate, of course, because it's showing the toolbar at the top um, right here, which um, wouldn't be like a legit mock-up. So make sure to crop that out if you want. But um, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set the shadow to none. And I'm gonna find um, one of these sort of like different variations. I'm gonna probably do something like this. Um, it's very similar to this. I think it might be the same uh, template. Um, and we're going to scale it up or we're gonna move it around first so that the top left and top right sort of line up as high as they can. Um, and you also want the bottom to you know fill its space up. So here, something like that. You can see it's barely touching the left side and it's barely touching the top side and the bottom's covered. Now um, just go to frame and turn off the background because uh, we don't want a background. I'm gonna export it now. Make sure you export it as a PNG so it maintains its transparency. And here we're, we're gonna insert it. So um, we're gonna insert a section. Actually, let's insert a container. So it's inside a section here. And we're going to add an image component inside and we're going to drag and drop the image we just downloaded there. So here we have an image. Um, the first thing you wanna do is remove the background because uh, we're gonna add a gradient background later. You also wanna make sure there's like no padding in the section container and all that because uh, we're making like a full width uh, image here. Make sure that uh, the section here is set to full width as well as the image, right? I'm not sure if it's cover or contain. I'm just going to leave this for now. Um, we might have to go back to it later. But here um, you can see we have the image. So that's really great. Now uh, let's add the background, which is simply a gradient. Uh, add that background to the section because the section houses all these components. But before you do that, make sure that the background is disabled basically, like set to zero transparency for all the other components inside the section. So click on background, go to gradient here. And you can see it's simply a black gradient with like purple. So uh, I think the left one, you wanna make the main color. So the main color here is like pink, purple, uh, right, one of those. So now that we have this, um, we have something very similar. Now we have to add these components here. Um, you could make it easier for yourself and just simply uh, add the actual template. Uh, but I'm gonna show you how to do this yourself. So insert heading here. We're also gonna insert paragraph text since um, there's gonna be like a description and we're gonna insert um, sign up widgets. So I'm gonna insert a container to house the sign up widget so that we can adjust padding separately. Um, and we're going to center this and remove the background. Um, right off the bat, you can tell that this subscribe or sign up widget has no padding at the top. Um, so we're going to go over to padding and just add it to the top. 
or not padding, padding to the container, not the actual widget. Um, so like something like this, right? And I'm also gonna customize the button background. Um, so I'm gonna make it black. So you can see now it has a black button and I'm gonna make the text white. I think I messed up the padding here. Uh, you can see there's no padding at the top. So let's add it back. So now we have a button, right? Um, and then we're gonna add this text here. I'm gonna say the, the number one newsletter for creatives, so, something like that, right? And I'm gonna make the font like 50. Um, and then I'm gonna add a paragraph text here, uh, a weekly roundup of creative news tools and resources. Some, something like that, 100% free unsubscribe anytime, right? Maybe like bold one of these, I don't know. Um, so that's great, right? You'll notice there's not padding at the top, so I'm gonna add padding to the top, uh, like 20 or something, maybe 40. Yeah. Uh, the last thing we have to do is add this gradient thing here, maybe like something like here. I'm gonna insert paragraph text again. Um, read by employees at Disney, LinkedIn, IBM. This is actually um, actually the case, so uh, make sure you're <laughs> writing something truthful. Um, and then lastly, we're gonna add this gradient text here. Uh, so highlight the text here and go over text gradient and it's simply two colors um that are similar so pink and purple here so i'm gonna do pink and purple oh uh, you need to be on linear for this it's slightly different than uh radial but here you can see i think i want the pink on the right side i think that would be better so something like this Um, and there, there you have it. You have something very similar. You can, of course, go in and change the section um, background color if it's like, if you want like a different color, obviously. So like something closer like this, maybe. Um, so there you have it. Um, that was quick and easy, less than 10 minutes. Um, it could be faster if you are not talking at the same time, but that's how you can re recreate something like this.